What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Soul Doubt and on today's episode I have the KB14s here. Uh, kind of late on this review but I just could not stand the colorways that was being released. Uh, that first colorway uh, was absolute trash. Like I don't know what's up with Nike releasing these crazy colorways like the Jordan 35 first colorway it was like the the gray, the blue, the red. That was that was trash. I don't know why they're dropping these whack colorways first when they could just release, you know, like some black and whites. Like Zion did the black and whites. I thought that was dope for the release. But all these other colorways are absolutely trash to me. But I got in one that I actually could stand to look at. So let's get into this. See the box, the Nike like sign. That. That. And I actually got the white. In a great colorway. We're gonna start from the heel, go down to the bottom. The heel was very comfortable. Um, there's no like Achilles pads, but the whole thing is just padded. So there's no like individual pads like a lot of shoes have been. The whole shoe is just really padded. So no complaints there. The heel lockdown was excellent. Uh, I give that a nine out of ten. There really wasn't any slippage at all. Now onto the tongue. The tongue was amazing, um, very nice padded. The only thing I wish the tongue had was some little bit more breathability. You can see it's just a just a regular tongue, really no portholes in it, but it was still very comfortable. Onto the laces, uh, I like the laces, but as you can see, get up close to that. I don't know if you can see the laces fraying, and that is because the Velcro strap. We all know if we hoop, if you had a shoe that Velcros with laces. It's gonna eventually tear your laces up, and this shoe does that. Not a fan of straps, but on this shoe, I really didn't mind it. It gave it like a little extra aesthetic, and come to find out, it actually does come from right here. It wraps around this part all the way through the strobe onto this side. So it almost does a 360 around your shoe. Uh, I seen that in a YouTube video. I forgot whose video it was, but I, I found that pretty interesting. It just makes sense to have it wrap all the way around the shoe and not just have it locked, glued down on this side it just it, it makes you feel more secure now that you know you're pulling that tab all the way over it's great for lockdown um and i think this shoe does just that has great lockdown i'm just i'm just not a fan of like the silhouette of the shoe um the felt material is like it's not my type of thing but it has felt and mesh you can see that little screen mesh right here for the materials the materials aren't that bad they don't feel that bad uh, and back to the heel, this kind of has like almost like a paracord vibe all the way around it. You can almost feel the plastic heel tab in that. Or it's just very, very reinforced with whatever materials they were using. But I think there's a plastic, like a plastic piece in the back of that heel. But yeah, the materials, the suede, or I wouldn't even call it a suede, it's almost like a felt. It's like a thick, a thick felt, but breathability on the shoe was awesome. I had no complaints about breathability. Um, this is actually the first pair of KDs I've ever owned, so I can't really speak on the like the last few models. I think it's the 13 and the 12. Can't really speak on them last few models, but from what everybody's saying, KD shoes are legit, and these are very legit. Uh, when it comes down to comfort, a lot of people are saying this is like too soft. This is a marshmallow feel. I thought it was perfect. It was actually like like very soft, very nice. Never had any knee pain, no shin splints. I get shin splints once in a while if I wear a shoe with like less comfort than others. And this did not cause any knee pain whatsoever. Um, you can see the Nike check on this side. Strap real quick. And obviously everybody knows now that that's for the Slim Reaper. KD is the Slim Reaper and that's kind of like it's it's sickle or whatever the hell them things are called. And the only complaint that I really have with the shoe, and you guys might be able to help me with this, it could be the strobe. I'm not sure if it's just not all the way broken, but I'm getting a sound on these shoes when I take off. Um, when we were in the gym, it was super quiet. It was just me and my son in there. And it, it was, it was like legit. You could hear plastic clicking. Um, I will try to run film on that. But other than that, I had no issues. Uh, down to the traction, traction is absolutely amazing. I play on a cleaner floor, I'd consider it. Um, I think they clean it every few days. So it's actually a nice floor. Um, I never wiped a shoe the whole time in the gym. We spent two and a half hours in the gym. I never wiped a shoe one time. Us as hoopers, we know you gotta... Some people, it's just a routine and when they back up on D or something, they just wipe their shoes. 
this was not the case with this shoe whatsoever. You do not have to do that. But overall, guys, the KD14 I thought was a very good shoe. I just did not like the fraying of the laces. Even on this pair, you can kind of see the fraying on that lace already getting worse than this one. Curious about the weight. I thought it was a little heavier feeling shoe. So I'm gonna say 14 ounces. I wear a size eight. 13.8, so I was close on that one. But yeah, the traction was awesome. Uh, it did feel a little bit heavy on foot, but no complaints there. Uh, I just wish it was a different silhouette. Um, I'm not a fan of the look. I'm not a fan of, I mean, I like the white colorway, but this is just, to me, the best colorway I could get my hands on. I really like the strap, how it's iridescent. Kind of has that flip flop from clear to white to purple to blue. I think that's dope. So I would recommend these to anyone, guys. Just play on them indoors. Uh, I think they'd be a nice shoe to add to your lineup if you're in high school. If you're at any level, you could add these to your lineup. I don't I don't know if they make GS sizes in these yet, grade school or um, little kids. I'm not sure. But I hope you guys like my quick rundown of the KD14, guys, and we will see you on the next episode of Sold Out. Peace.